is up everybody my name is CTBTR and welcome back to another video this video is going to split up into three parts and yes it is finally here and we're gonna do some exploring around this entirety of this project and this is the first half no this is not the first half the first part of this um, this entire big old video and today we're gonna look through the entire thing of CL City and we're gonna do the selections so basically where you want to go so basically I will show you guys around and basically get through all the stuff that we can so all the stuff that I can so so this is called the N CL Golf or there's a, like you know you know these places where you're supposed to go CL East and also North and West we'll get to them in a minute so the first thing you want to grab once you're in this world these are maps of CL City by level 2 format which I already have one right here and that is the city's map and the one I'm holding is the world map where I generated already to take and next, um, there's another place you can't go to, is that the nether, you can go get some items from here, wherever you want. But, the next thing I want to do is basically go to the end. So now, when you, when you do some selections here, you want to basically kind of press the button, and it says the end, but it takes you the actual, the end portal. Meaning you can actually go into it and do whatever you want then you can just go back right here next it is CO Golf now the very interesting about this is that once you go in here and I'm gonna uh, fix this up we'll get to that message that that's within the chat in a minute as well so this is where it takes you you walk over here and we'll we'll, we'll talk about this in a minute and this is where you grab in the pearls and then you take on yourself to golf courses that has been made. That's why I got my own Ender Pro right here. So the basic of this is where uh, you go to each different course. You can go by uh, by a train by using a minecart of going to course two, three, or three part two. But there's one in the city which we'll get to next time. But these courses where on the map you see based on um, um, the map that you see them with as the green uh, placements. Yeah, so this is the world's map's placements where it has CL West where I'm literally my cursor is pointed at. And then it's the East, then it's the Northern West, and then it's the... Uh, God, oh wait, this is course 1, that's course 2, that's course 3. And that is course course three part two and wherever you select your own own uh, area again based on the teleportation it would take you to another area this is course three this is course two and it takes you on to course two and then if you go on to go back to course one you have to go back to the main beginning right here now we'll not get to all of this but only going to show you how you're supposed to play it so you get onto this and it shows you the actual course of itself but it does have holes so each hole like golf like re real golf it has pars of how many how many numbers do you end up being on the par so this is par four and whenever you land on the number four stroke, that's par. And everything else you may know. Now the basic of this, you are basically the golf ball. And you have to throw the end of pearl where it's going to land. Just like this one example. And this is like a drivable one. But it also counts as a hole in one over here. And where I'm landing is where you're placed. Now, if there's like multiplayer coming up, 
in the games they, like this. Place your block where you land and move out your move yourself out of the way so you don't get hit by someone else. If your guy is playing this. And then from there you just you know make yourself in the hole or just go by by a flag shot. That's why I have this purple block in, in my inventory for a reason, for like for for more of these stuff. I kinda said it wrong, hold on. I meant to say for all of the stuff that you do. Also there's another chest where you can take the minecart and you can just place yourself right here. And that's pretty much it of this area. Now let's go back to here. And now um now the next thing you can press is CL East. So right now we'll get to the outside in a minute. Um this part is where the beginning will be for CL West if you go back over here. And you have to go out this way right here. And then you press on this wire. It says welcome to CL City. Hope you have fun. And all the coding which we'll get to in the the um, these experiment rooms. And this is where you come outside and you see what the hell is this? You know what I mean? Um yeah. So this entire area is Sea Out West. Oops, I almost got hit by the highway. So this entire thing is Sea Out West right here. All the way from north part right here and all the way from down over the other side of west and when you come up to this why there's two borders between north and west and CL east and also west for that matter is to separate them from not being merged into certain ways so that's why I built this line or these lines to kind of kind of divide them up so this is the end part of CL West and you get into CL East. We'll get to it right now. We'll, we're about to get in there on over to CL uh, East and then we'll get to CL, not CL West. Um, whoops, I dropped my controller. Dang it, I always end up bringing my stuff while I'm doing this. All right, there we go. All right, so this is CL West not west east so this video is going to be confusing i know for a fact but this is the entirety of cl east and it's a lot bigger than cl west and it has a lot of stuff in here we got built more buildings we got more places <laughs> excuse me about my hiccup more places to go Yeah, you got more places to go. We even have a park right here. And this is this is the entirety of CL East. Now, going back to the purple stuff that has the maps, this is where you are at based on points. So right here on the map of this on the on the eastern side of CL City, this is the tallest building in the entirety of the whole entire world of itself and it's freaking gargant gigantic and I'll tell you that and it's beautiful it's never gonna get uh, beaten out from the no shape or form any way shape or form but you know what I mean and now um let's go back to the area and let's go over to north and west Which we're about to go in here and go over here. So this is north and west. And this is basically a villager. Villager. A village where these villagers live in harmony without no threat. And now let's get into the code based on that message that I said uh, from earlier. This, it says, enjoy the world. Don't forget to rate this world project. Now why is that? It is because I want to see if anybody likes this world. Oh shoot, I did not mean to actually ruin your guys' stuff, villagers. And let me give this to you, since you're going to end up taking it. 
You're not gonna take it? Oh, come on now. Anyways. Um, he needs to add in another seed, but that's fine. Anyways. So now let me go back to here. And now, um, with this message right here, it says that I want to see if anybody kind of kind of rate this world based on their own preference if they like to. But we haven't gone through, you know, the the, the much more of the details of what's going on with the with the sides of CL West and CL East. But mostly we're mainly focused on on Northern West. The way how I built this, it is because. It has to be like a neighborhood site where you could go. It's pretty much like a freaking trailer park or something like that. And also a village to kind of lit, have these villagers live in harmony and just have no threat. In, like I said from before. Uh, once, I guess, to say. I don't know. But that's really it. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. If you go over here in this part of the CL City, there's a water slide. And I want to give credits to Lucian. And also, Luis is as known as uh, Lucian Key TV. I don't know he's going end up uh, being called that by now because his ch his channel name has changed. And then Wizard Tulip, aka, you know, Luis, like I said. I said it backwards, but they helped me build this water slide. It's a very unique design, and I kind of updated just a bit because it feels a lot more better in this way, but it works. So this is the end of part one. And I wanted to let you guys know that there's going to be part two, three, and that's it. There's no other parts to this afterwards, and then that's pretty much it. But this might be, there's a new series that might come up later on, if it's possible. We could probably do some games, pretty much doing some games, games, like modes that we can do on this world. That could be very brutal in a somewhat, but I have to create a copy of itself because to make it work, to make this work, I do not want this original world to be uh, in a desert wasteland where we have to build all this again. I don't want that happening, so that's why I'm going to be creating a duplicate to make sure it stays original. Now with the coding with. All the stuff that you do when you go to any place. Thanks to Red Ninja for coding with these. With the redstone, the command blocks we, get, we all set up. This is also another area. And that is pretty much it. Like I said, this is going to be part two and three. And that is pretty much it for this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed as much as you guys did but hopefully part two kind of makes up for CL West and CL East based on your guys's preference and that is pretty much it and I'll see you guys next time peace out everyone and also don't forget stay fresh everybody Ooh.